Today gamers, we're going to be diving into some more Dragon's Dogma 2 and this time I'm going to be showing you how you can get hold of this amazing HP ring, the Ring of Acclamation. Now I haven't got everything in the game yet, but I think this may well be the best health ring as it gives you 200 HP, which is absolutely amazing because you can get this quite early on in the game. Now in order to get hold of this ring, you will need to go on a little adventure, but once you know what you're doing, it shouldn't be too difficult. You're going to need to head to this area just here, the town of Vernworth, and then you're going to want to go out of the west exit just over this way, right near the ox cart. From here, you're going to want to make your way all up the road and as soon as you see a left turning on the road you're going to want to take that fork and head in this direction keep going all the way over here until you reach this marker that i've placed number two as there'll be a shack with some nice goodies in that you'll probably want to pick up then you're going to need to make your way over a little bit of rocky terrain onto the area just here which hopefully you'll be able to get into but if you can't then you'll be able to make your way around and go in from this way i'm going to be showing you some guide points as i go so that you know exactly where you're heading and this area just here is probably the first marker that you're going to want to know about. That's going to be like a little bridge showing you that you're in pretty much the right location. After that, you're going to want to keep following the road until you find this bridge just here, right next to a campsite. And that's going to be in this location, as you can see just here. Now at this point, you're going to want to make your way across the bridge, then look to your right, and you're going to make it up this cliff facing. Be a little bit wary, there is a griffin at the top, so if you don't want to tackle that, I would say just run straight past it. I'd already taken it on because I didn't know it was at the top, but after I'd seen just how much health it's got, I decided not to fight it because it probably would have taken a little while to take it down. You're going to head towards this marker just here, and that's going to be the first shack that's got quite a few goodies in it that you're definitely going to want to grab in order to get yourself a nice little bit of money. Again, there are a few enemies here, so take them down whichever way you seem fit. And then just make your way inside the shack. In the chest is nothing absolutely amazing, it's just going to be a harpy lure, but the main reason you'll be here will be to pick up some of the gold, the silver and the ore in general. Just giving you a nice little bit of resource if you want to use it for upgrades or to sell on later. Now once that's done you're going to head outside of the shack and then make your way down the cliff facing and you'll be able to see the area that we're trying to get to because it's right down the bottom here and another completely kind of run down shack. However it's not quite as simple as just walking through the front door because it is locked from the inside. Now some classes will probably be able to get in there, for example a mage, someone who can get up higher, or maybe even a thief. If your class can't get in there, then you're just going to completely hug this stone facing just here, make your way around it, and keep going until you make it to kind of the back area, where you see this path just here, allowing you to get up on top of it. Once you have, you're pretty much golden, you'll be able to run all the way to the very end. Fix this up while you're here obviously. And then just take a long run jump and make your way in. Here's the final destination just in case you need to see exactly where it is. And it's definitely something that's worth having especially early on. 200 HP is nothing to laugh at and can really help you out in those tricky situations. But yeah, all of my minions died in the process of doing this somehow. So hopefully give this a like if you've enjoyed the video and if this helped you out. And as always, there'll be a lot more gaming content from me, a lot more Dragon Dogma tips, hints, guides, and where all of the best gear is kept. And as always, for all things gaming, take care. I'll see you on the next day.